What's up everybody, Tiakum here with Soya Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you make this roll-up notion caddy. But before we get started, I'm gonna show you some close-ups of this caddy. Let's get started. So now that you've seen the caddy up close, now let's dive right on to the project. So let's go over the cutting instructions. As you can see in front of me, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut all my fabrics. And in today's video, I'm using the Ruby Star Society's panels here. And I've cut them down to 11 by 17. And I've got two different panels here that we'll be, we'll be using. And then I have a piece of batting the same size, 11 by 17. I've got one coordinate piece that is 10 by 17 and a one and a half inch piece by width of fabric and two two and a half inch pieces by width of fabric. But to start, we're gonna just dive on in with our batting and one of our panels. So I'm gonna move everything aside here. I'm gonna pull off my other, my other panel. And what we're going to do is bring our batting down so everyone can see it at home. And I'm going to take my panel here, I'm gonna lay it down right on top of my batting. And I've chosen to use double-sided fusible batting for this project, just so it's easier to stick everything together. But you can use regular batting if you choose. So I'm gonna put that there, make sure that's all nice and neat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my coordinating fabric, I'm gonna fold them in half right on top. I'm gonna line it up with the bottom of my caddy, like so. So now that I've layered this together, batting my panel and my coordinating fabric right on top, folded in half, I'm gonna take my iron, and I'm gonna iron this down. What this will do, it will fuse my panel to my batting and it'll put a really nice crease across my coordinating fabric. So I'm gonna pull off my iron here, and just iron away. Perfect. Now that I have everything ironed down, it's time to mark where I want all my holes or pockets to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this guy in half to get my middle seam or my middle mark. I'm gonna just use my iron real quick to create a little crease right there. That way I can base everything off of center here. I'm not sure how well you can see that in the camera, but I got a nice seam straight down. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take a marking pen for my caddy here. And I'm going to do one and a half inches off of my crease here. So I'm going to mark a line. And I did one and a half inch from the, to the right side and I'm going to do one and a half inches from the left side, which this will create a center pocket of three inches. Now what I'm going to do off my line that I've just marked, I'm going to do a two inch pocket. And again, on both sides. So I'm going to do it on both sides simultaneously here. Then I'm going to do a one and a half inch pocket. Again, just lining up with my lines and marking the right measurements. Then I'm gonna finish the rest of them off with one inch pockets or lines here. So I've got one there. Another one there and then my edge of my caddy. So mark. So I'm not sure how well we can see this on camera, but I've got lines going down at the measurements that I would like them to be for my caddy holes or pockets. So now that I have this all marked out, I'm gonna take it over to my sewing machine. I'm gonna sew down these lines and I'm not gonna forget to backstitch. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm always gonna start with my middle pocket here. 
forgot to turn on my sewing machine. There we go. And I'm going to sew. Again, not forgetting to backstitch. Perfect. Now I'm going to go over to my next pocket and do the exact same thing. So that was my first side's done. Now I'm going to work on my left side. I'm gonna take my scissors out here. I'm gonna just cut off my excess thread that I've got here at the bottom, just to clean things up a little bit. So now that we have our pockets all sewn in, it's time to add our back panel here. I'll make sure this is straight for everyone. So I'm gonna take my panel, and like I said, since I'm using double-sided fusible batting, all I have to do is iron this on. I'm going to just take my iron out, give it a nice press, and now that is all stuck down. So I'm going to turn it back over, and now it's time to make our little tassel or a tie down. So I'm going to move this aside, and I'm going to grab our one and a half inch strip of our coordinating fabric. And all we have to do is tri-fold this. So what that means is you are gonna fold one side towards the center and the other side towards the center. Grab my iron here. I'm gonna press this down and I'm gonna go all the way down the length of my fabric. Slide this down a little bit. I'm gonna go all the way down the length of my fabric with this tri-fold method. As you can see, I folded both ends in towards the center. Now it's time to fold it one more time. And that's right over each other. And then we're gonna iron this down and then we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam or one eight inch seam all the way down to hold everything in place. So now that we have this piece tri-folded, we're just gonna go all the way down the edge and st stitch a seam right on the edge, or as close as we can get to it. So I'm taking it over here to my sewing machine. And as you can see, I'm just barely, barely nicking the edge here. Just keep everything in. So now that I've sewn all the way down, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut off the end here just to make sure everything is nice and straight. I'm gonna do that on both sides. So now with these ends, I'm gonna fold it over once, I'm gonna fold it over twice, and I'm gonna stitch down this end, that way no raw edges are showing. I'm gonna do that to both sides. Watch your fingers here, make sure we don't Get them in the sewing machine. Perfect, one edge, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. One fold, two folds.
Now that I've made my little tie down, I'm going to fold it in half and it's time to attach this to our caddy. So I'm going to lay down our caddy like this. I want to attach it to the left side on the back side of my caddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay it down like this and I'm going to slide it right underneath my caddy like so. That way I know I'm on the right side and I know I'm going the right direction. And I'm going to line it up with my pockets along the side here. So now when I turn this over, I know that I'm all on the right side and everything's in the right place. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to barely stitch it down maybe an eighth of an inch from the edge. That way when I do the binding on this, it'll cover itself up. So I'm going to bring it over to the sewing machine. Just barely, barely sew it down. And you want to go back and forth a couple of times to make sure it's secured. Now with the tassel that's put on, it's time to decide if we want to round off our corners or not. This is what it will end up looking like if we don't round our corners. Or we can just take a pair of scissors and just do a little bit of a curve on the top here. Just something small. Just so that it's a little bit more round. I'm going to do this edge too. I'm going to do the edge over here as well. Perfect. Now that we've trimmed up our edges, I'm going to move this aside and it's time to make our binding strips. So I've got two pieces of black here that are two and a half by width of fabric. First thing we gotta do is sew the two pieces together. We're just gonna put them right sides together, end to end. And I'm just gonna do straight seams here. Take it over to my sewing machine. And sew my straight seam. I sewed it one quarter inch off of the bias, or sorry, off of the salvage edge. So I'm gonna cut off my salvage here. And then I'm gonna iron this open. And we all know how to make binding, so our next step is to fold it in half and iron down the length of our strip here. I'm fully in half, I'm gonna grab my iron. And you don't have to worry about burning it because it's black. Now that I have my binding all ready, I'm going to lay down my caddy with the sewing machine side up or the back side up. And the ribbon's gonna be on the inside. That's really important. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay my binding down and I'm gonna machine bind this whole project here. So I'm going to start right here about three or four inches down from my edge. I'm going to sew my binding on all the way around with that quarter inch seam. So I'm going to bring it over to the sewing machine. And as you can see, I've got some white thread going, so I'm going to use some camera magic and get this all ready. Great, black thread. And now we're back. So now that I'm getting to my rounded corner, all we're going to do is we're going to bend the fabric into the curve. And take your time at this part, make sure your corner is done right. And keep on going down with your quarter inch seam. Come into this corner again, take your time, get around it and make sure we don't sew our tassels in here. Now 
Now that I'm getting to the end here, you can attach the binding however you normally attach binding. The method that I use is, let me see if I'm in camera here so that everyone can see. It's a little bit hard to see here. But all I do is I fold my binding into the next one. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna cut it to the length that I need it to be. I'm gonna kinda cut it on an angle towards the back. And then what I do is I just fold this one and I opened up my one that I'm connecting it to and I fold them all together as one. And then I stitch them together. So now that I've sewn my binding onto the caddy here, I'm going to go over to these edges, my rounded edges. I put a couple snips into them. This will allow them to stretch a little bit, which will help bind the next section or bind it to the front side, I should say. So I'm going to again snip all my edges here. Make sure you have a really nice sharp pair of scissors to do this. Now that that is all snipped, what I like to do is I like to take my iron and I like to open up my binding here. I just take it and put the point of my iron into the edge here. Just to press everything open a little bit. Now that it's pressed, I'm going to take it, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to turn my binding with it. Just like so. So now, so now that I have it like this, I'm gonna take some Wonder Clips here. Open up my Wonder Clips. I'm gonna fold over my binding all the way around. I'm gonna clip it down. So I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time to make sure everything is straight as possible. Now I've got it clipped all the way around. We're gonna do something that's a little bit backwards than what we normally do. What we're actually going to do is we're going to top stitch all the way around on the black on the back side. This will have enough space to grab it on the front, but it'll make the back have a really clean look and it will also give a clean look to the front. So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. I'll show you what I mean. Drop down my pressure foot and I'm just gonna follow the black line right here, or my black binding. And take your time on the corners to make sure that we get around them just fine. So here it is, our finished product. I absolutely love this product because how versatile it is. You can use it for art supplies, sewing supplies, or even makeup brushes. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. As always, I'm gonna leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name's Tiank, I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yeah Quilting. That looks funky, but whatever.